For me, mac and cheese is a wonderfully nostalgic, comforting dish, but in recent years, it's become one of the cooler sides on the menu. It's a rich layer of bubbling cheese with pasta and a creamy sauce underneath. Perfect as a side dish to steak or barbecue, but equally great on its own. And to start off with, I've got some pasta boiling away here. A great tip when you're making something like mac and cheese or a pasta bake is to cook the pasta for half the length of time it says on the packet, because then it'll carry on in the oven. So once the pasta is half cooked, just drain it thoroughly and then transfer it into an oven-proof dish. I'm using four different cheeses in this recipe. So I'm starting off with some Monterey Jack cheese and just tear it up into little pieces so that as you eat that lovely creamy sauce, you get little pops of flavor and then just stir it to mix together. The reason I'm not putting this into the sauce is for texture. I've got some onions that are just sweated down in butter gently until they're really soft. And then I'm gonna to add to that some flour. Now, just take the pan off the heat for a second and stir in the first bit of milk. If you add it really gradually, you're gonna find that you won't get any lumps. So give it a stir until it's incorporated and then back on the heat to start to cook it out. So just keep adding that milk gradually and mix it in thoroughly each time. And then to that sauce, I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper and some mustard powder for a little bit of a tickle of heat. Stir that together. And then another classic ingredient, a bit of nutmeg. Give it a quick stir and then bring it off the heat. It smells great already. So to that, I'm gonna add some cheese. So I've got some mature cheddar, some red Leicester and some Emmental. And as that bakes out, that cheese will help to thicken the sauce as well and then a little bit of sour cream. And then finally, an ingredient that might seem a little bit left field, but is traditional, and that sweetness counteracts the saltiness of the cheese, is just a dash of maple syrup. Stir that together, and then that just goes straight over the top of the pasta. And then, just using the back of the spoon, just spread the sauce around so it's all over in one even layer. So once you've spread the sauce over the top, give the dish a quick tap, and allow that lovely cheesy sauce to work its way down through the pasta. And then transfer it to a hot oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until the top is golden brown and bubbly. Just look at that, golden brown and crisp on top, rich and creamy underneath. Make sure you let it stand for a little bit because it is piping hot. So whether it's a cool side dish or a comforting classic, whichever way you look at it, my mac and cheese is absolutely delicious.